welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to try to build an interesting type of bridge that uses pistons to fold itself up. Now this is a concept that is once again inspired by a channel called The Art of Rendering. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right here in the Mechanical Principles Part 16 by The Art of Rendering, uh, we have your standard looking bridge here. But uh, this bridge has an interesting feature because when these pistons extend, it actually folds the bridge up pretty much into a ball or a circle, I guess. So I think this is kind of doable in scrap mechanic. It depends if the pistons are strong enough. I'll have to build a really, really light bridge. Um, but the difficult thing to try to overcome here is just gonna be creating the joints. Because like right here at a point like this uh, is essentially gonna be three separate layers in order to accommodate all of these bearings. And same thing down here and also over here on the like pretty much every intersection is it's gonna be a, a lot of space that it takes up in scrap mechanic as opposed to this nice neatly designed version right here also i'm not really sure if i can make these angles quite like this um but let's just i'm just gonna improvise based off of the general idea and then just see if i can create something that at all resembles this the good news is all i really gotta do is build one of these sections with a piston here and uh if that, if i can get that to work then the rest of it should work in theory so what i want to pay attention to though is how much does the angle uh, bend because the piston is still in there and it looks like it's pretty steep but there is space it actually looks like the uh, lines from each bridge segment become parallel with each other so I'm just gonna go with the whole winging it method let's go wing it all right I'm gonna build out a wood block one because this is the lightest material that isn't going to get destroyed if I shoot it not that I'm gonna be like shooting the bridge for any particular reason I'm just saying maybe I don't want it to be so easily destructible okay all right so we're gonna have a pillar if this is gonna be where the piston is and there's gonna be a bridge segment on the left and on the right then both bridge segments need to hinge around this bearing you know what maybe i can have one bridge segment go on one side and one bridge segment go on the other side like this and then i can kind of fake it with like i don't know okay i hope this makes sense so yeah each section should be able to fold so there's gonna be this weird like gap but I think that's just gonna be what we need to do to make it as compact as I can. All right, I don't think we're at a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna go up by whatever this angle is here. And should that be the top? Let's make that the top. There we go. Does that, does that look good? I mean, that kind of looks good to me. All right, so now let's just do a quick test by folding these up on each other and seeing how they collide or where they collide. So if we go like 30 degrees and 30 degrees, that's not looking good because see now this is like it's interfering with that. What about 15 degrees each? See, I don't know. I don't know how to make this here. Even though it's going to be heavier, let me use this ramp piece. It's got a pretty big weight, so it's definitely going to add a lot of weight. But uh, maybe this angle is just going to be nice. All right, I actually think that looks so much nicer. So let's go with that version. Okay, now let's see how this feels. So there's 30 degrees, there's 30 degrees. That looks pretty good. That looks actually really good. What about like 25 degrees each? No, we want them to be like parallel. Is it gonna be like, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what the degrees are because we're gonna be using pistons and it's really gonna come down to how much the piston extends. That looks like if I just kept that going, we'd create a nice circle, wouldn't we? All right, uh, let's delete that, go back to normal. So now I need to make the piston thing happen. How am I going to make the piston thing happen? This is actually going to be a little bit complicated, I think. So I need like a bearing here and a bearing here. One of these bearings goes out. You know what? I'm going to use pipe pieces for this. Okay, so one side is going to go out. Oh boy, I need to put this on a lift. So one side has to connect like uh, that. And the other side is going to do the same thing. But on it's going to go to the opposite side of the piston. See, if we just had the ability to make like an actual hinge that takes up one block, that'd be great. All right, make sure everything is welded. Okay, so now... I think I've built the base mechanism here. All right, so now I got it all color coded to uh, kind of be similar to the original animation. So now let's see what happens when I extend this piston. I can set up the settings. Okay, uh, let's go six blocks. Oh, it's strong enough. <gasps> Seven blocks. 
Oh no! Seven blocks is too little, and eight blocks is too many. No. What do I? What do I do about that? Like this is it's just what what could what could I do about that? It's pretty much working as intended, right? Maybe that's just not bad. It's a little bit like it's got collisions, but like it doesn't look bad necessarily. Should I just roll with that? All right, well, now all I need to do is make this uh, modular so I can just copy and paste and add onto itself. So I got to make it so that when I copy and paste one section, it's going to uh, gonna have a tail and a head that are going to lead into each other. Because right now, if I copy and paste this, we're going to be missing a piston. Because it'll be bridge, piston, bridge bridge piston bridge but we need bridge piston bridge piston bridge okay i think i see what to do i'm gonna put a wood block right there that will be this wood block which i will disconnect and i think that's it so now if i just remove this uh bridge this is gonna still be attached and it should automatically weld to right there you know what i'm actually gonna remove that and already and have that pipe piece there instead of it having to actually connect to the bearings i think this is gonna be a safer option okay so this should be modular let me go ahead and save that now if i spawn in two all i should have to do is weld the end of this to this prong right here there we go and then I have to weld the connection like that. I think it's working. Let me uh, test it out by hooking up a switch into these pistons. The pistons should already be at the correct settings. Oh, look at it go. Whoa. One, two, three, four, six of them. The original design had eight uh, with the angles that I have because I winged it, wung it, wang it. None of those sound right, but uh, I think just six should do it, which means all I gotta do is duplicate this and then just weld it uh, tail to head and then finish this weld. And I think I now have, all, all, actually all I have to do is delete this now. I don't need this final piston on here, so we can get rid of you. And now I think this is it. I really think this is gonna be a first try. This is gonna work in its full uh, condition here. I hope I'm not being overconfident with this, but let me hook up the button to all of the pistons. And are you ready for, I mean, I guess I didn't really make like a, a, the bridge section yet. Like I actually gotta have, I'm gonna have to duplicate this whole thing put a panel in here and have two sides to the bridge. This is just one side of the bridge, but proof of concept right here. Here we go. Oh yes. Look at that. You know what? I should uh, wait. Let me see the original design. Is there a missing piston when it folds up? Oh uh, yeah, there is. There actually is a section that is, has a missing piston. I kind of don't like it though, but if I have the piston here, it's actually not going to work because these aren't going to be connected. So that doesn't make sense. I think we have to stick with this. Okay, so we have this now. So now all I need to do is put a panel in between these bridges. I'm just gonna do, that's a lot. Is this gonna be too much weight? All right, now that I got that, it's as simple as welding this to this. Oh no. Okay, hold on, that's just because it's all attached to the ground right now. If I just give this thing some feet, just little tiny prongs like that. Now it shouldn't be laggy. It's okay. All right, let's attach the switch. Now we should actually have a folding bridge. If I attach one logic gate, then the other logic gate for each side, and fold. Wait, how, did it look like one half folded before the other half? Something's broken over the, oh. Oh, well that's interesting. Only the single section welded. So I gotta do this. Oh, that, that was unexpected. Okay. There we go. That was the issue. Now fold in unison this time. There we go. That's so cool. Okay. Now we gotta like actually, I gotta try to drive something across this bridge. So this is actually not gonna work quite as well as I was hoping because I wanted to weld one side down onto the ground, but because of the flexibleness of this bridge, um, it's not gonna stay like perfectly level, but this should still work and make it, I'm hope hopefully I can lift the whole section over so it's not gonna go up in the middle now. There it is. That's it right there. 
I mean, it's a little weak. It's not as solid at the ending, but it's working as intended. Can it unfold? What? It can't unfold? Maybe with a little help from your friend? Come on. Come on. Well, that's a new interesting design, isn't it? Uh, how do I... How do I help you? Well, this part of it is a little bit more wonky than I was expecting. What if I turn it on again? Yeah, everything tensions up pretty well, but it doesn't loosen up very well. And you know what? It's because it tensions up too much. I bet, here, let me respawn this back in. I bet if I put them down to seven blocks, it would actually be more stable. It's not gonna have as satisfying of a closure, but I'm betting it'll unfold a lot easier. All right, I think they're all on seven. Let's see how this goes. All right, so yeah, it doesn't fold quite as nicely. And actually, this isn't looking good. These are, some of these are going out more than seven. So now I no longer think it's going to unfold as nicely. Yeah, no, no, it just doesn't have it. Man, look at that. Upside down Nike. We've got the anti swoosh. The shoes. Swoosh. Shoes. You know, I just, I just had an epiphany. I think the word swoosh backwards is shoes. I'll have to reverse it in editing. I don't know if it's actually, uh, if it's actually shoes backwards yet. Swoosh. Shoes. But if that's true, if swoosh is shoes backwards, Nike might be unintentional geniuses. Or maybe it was intentional, in which case it's kind of scary. Well, it is kind of disappointing that the, uh, pistons are not actually strong enough to unfold if it folds from the ends. However, when it folds from the middle, gravity just kind of helps it out. So yeah, here's the eight, uh, here's the eight distance version, the eight block pistons. And these seem... Oh, see, this is the problem right here. It's the overextension of this piston. So the center, this is the center point. So I got to create a weld point right here. And this will allow it to fold up and unfold, but it's going to be like from the center and symmetrical rather than uh, unfurling. But I think this is gonna be our most stable option. All right, so now you can see it folds up nicely like that. And then this should have no problem unfolding. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I just wanted it to be able to unfold itself. This is what it's like to be inside of a folding bridge. Ugh. And then this is what it's like to be inside of an unfolding bridge. There we go. I like this version better. All right, but I gotta see if it can take a car across it, which is gonna not be this car because it's too wide. This is a bad idea. This car is massive, by the way, and it's really, really heavy. Well, look at that. I drove across the bridge. Now let's see what happens if the bridge folds up with the car in it. It's not gonna work. This thing's gonna be way too heavy. It's just gonna get stuck. Bridge is folding. What's gonna happen? It's trying. Yeah, I'm, I'm just completely stuck. I've been trapped. It's a Venus flybridge. Well, yet another crazy mechanism created in Scrap Mechanic. If you guys have any other ideas for crazy mechanisms you'd like to see me try to recreate in Scrap Mechanic, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrap Man, and I'll see you next time. Bye.